We got too many gas tanks. I wonder when we can ever get rid of them, we too. I am tripping all over them. Hey, I want two gas tanks quick. Me too. I want ten. Five for me. I want ten gas tanks right away. I want every one you got. Hey, you can't do that. What about me? I double your price. Acme, over there. I will pay you 20 bucks each too. Wonder Tank? I need more gas tanks quick. Can you deliver 20 tanks to me on the double? What? You want $20 each now? Why, Julie, call your supplier to find out how much it wants for more tanks? Quickie Tanks? How much for your tanks now? What? $20? But it was only $10 last week. What do you mean opportunity cost? Quickie Tanks wants $20 now. They said something about opportunity cost. What is it? Why does it matter? It means that it does not matter how much you paid for them last week. It is what they are worth now that matters. If you sell your 10 tanks now for $10 each, you will only have enough money to replace them with 5 new tanks. Are you saying that I should sell my current tanks at the replacement cost of $20 each? The so-called opportunity cost? Yes, that is what I am going to do. Okay, guys. $20 each, one tank per person. Who is next? Are you kidding? I was hoping to buy at $10 and resell them at $20. You are price gouging. Count me out. I will be back when it is $10 each. Okay, I really need these tanks for my gas station. I will buy all 10 tanks from buy and buy and 8 tanks from Agme at $20 each. So the market clears when tanks are priced at their replacement opportunity cost. With the money I got, I can replace them with the same number of tanks. I love opportunity cost. Julie, don't get carried away. When the storm rush is over, the lower demand may reduce the opportunity cost of your new tanks. Are you saying that I might have to sell my new $20 tanks at $10 each when the demand goes down? Exactly. You can live and die by opportunity cost.